So a very classic but very on-trend color combination right now is black and white. And I don't think you just have to buy a black and white shirt and wear it. I think you can take your black and your white pieces in your wardrobe and create some really fun black and white looks that are very classic and some will be a little bit trendy. So I've got tennis outfits in this video for you to give you some ideas of what you can put together to create some really good black and white looks. So let me know which outfit is your favorite. Thank you so much for watching. Watching. Remember to like and subscribe and more importantly remember to love your neighbor and be kind. So the first set of outfits I'm going to talk about are going to be with white bottoms and then I'll get into some black bottom combinations. And so the first outfit is with a pair of white jeans and it's actually what I have on in this video. And I love this top that I found that's white with the black trim. I actually got this last year and I paired it with this bomber jacket that I got this year and I thought it was a lot of fun. This is lightweight and perfect for spring. Um, if you don't have a bomber style jacket, maybe a blazer or something would be great over the white top and white jeans and if you don't have one that has black trim it can be solid white or you could even do solid black but it's really hard to match blacks so I stuck with the white and thought it looked really good and then I put on a pair of black strappy sandals to bring the black back in on my feet and a lot of people don't like this contrast dressing but I really like it you could put on a pair of nude sandals if you wanted them to just disappear or even white but I really liked the black since it was a black and white combination I thought it went really well here. So this next outfit is really simple. It's just a black t-shirt and some white jeans with a sling bag that is very casual. But the key to this outfit is throwing on your retro sneakers. So add a little bit of color in your retro sneakers to this and it just makes the outfit look really stylish. And so I've been talking about the retro sneakers. They are a huge trend right now and I think they really elevate your jean outfits. And so I loved this combination because it was just kind of boring. Cute pieces put together, but with the black and white, I loved just adding a little bit of an element of color in those shoes and a little bit more style with the retro styling and I think it just made the outfit look that much better. So if you don't want to wear a jacket at all, I think the combination of the black and white top and it doesn't matter what your top looks like with the white jeans and then just adding a belt to separate them that's black and then wearing the black strappy sandals. So I loved this combination too. Once it gets a little bit warmer outside, I, I think it looked really good. If you wanted to just put on a black tank here, you could do that or a black tank with white trim or a white tank with black trim or just solid white. If you wanted to do that, you could do a white button up shirt here. So just think of the combinations that you could put together in your closet like this and just adding a black belt and black shoes will create a very nice black and white outfit. So now here is an outfit that has a black tank with white trim on the collar and I put it with the white jeans and the black strappy sandals and I added my crop denim jacket over it. So I think this is also a great option for a casual outfit and I think the denim jacket is what makes this outfit look a little bit more interesting. The tank top is a lot of fun too. I do love the black with the white trim and you know there's a lot of black and white out there right now so you could find some interesting interesting pieces to mix in and make your black and white outfits a little bit more interesting. But if they are just plain like these pieces are, then you can add fun elements like a denim jacket, even a blazer. But I really liked the crop jacket here too because it definitely showed the tank top and it hung out a little bit and it was just a really good casual outfit that looked really stylish and fun to wear but was also very comfy. So for this next outfit, I wanted to think outside the box a little bit and figure out some way to make the outfit a little bit more interesting because all I have on is a black polo shirt. It's kind of a sweater tee and then my cutoff denim shorts that are a creamy white. And I didn't want to put sneakers with this. I thought, what if I put my loafers with this? And I had originally created this outfit for this video, but I ended up putting it in my last styling video that I did, which was on how to elevate your jeans outfits. And I love that these loafers elevate just a regular pair of cutoff jean shorts. I think this is my favorite way to wear my jean shorts right now to make them look a little bit nicer as opposed to throwing on the strappy sandal or a pair of sneakers. So think about it. If you have a pair of neutral loafers or even a colored loafer, 
loafer would be really cute with this. Uh, I think just thinking a little bit outside the box and wearing something that you would not normally with, wear with a pair of cutoff shorts, I think it really elevated this black and white outfit and really brought it all together and made it look good. And that clutch, I have to talk about the clutch because the clutch brought it all together as well. It brought back in the tan into the outfit and I just, I loved this combination. I thought it was a lot of fun. I put it together on the spot and you know, sometimes I surprise myself. I think something's not going to work and it absolutely works and it ends up being one of my favorites. And so let me know if you would wear an outfit combination like this. So I am very excited for the next two outfits because this is my favorite piece that I purchased that I have not been able to wear it by itself until now. And this is how I love it the best. And so it is a suit vest that I've buttoned up by itself and put with my white jeans and my white sneakers. And so I loved this combination. I thought it was a great black and white combination. I do have a little bit of a silver stripe in the vest, but if you just had a black plain vest like this. You could put it on, button it up, throw it on with your white jeans and it looks really good. But I also created the next outfit because I thought, and this is where I'll start in on some of the black jean outfits. I love the black jeans with this. If you want to dress it up and since it had that silver stripe in it, I put my silver sandals on and it just elevated the outfit, made it look so on trend and very cool. And I just love these vests. I used to wear them years and years ago, probably 10 or 15 years ago. And I got rid of the ones I had, which I'm so sad I did, but I bought this one from Anthropology and I have so enjoyed it. And putting it over a button up shirt, I've worn that, you know, with some black jeans, the button up shirt or regular jeans, and then just wearing it by itself when it gets a little bit warmer. And I'm going to hang on to my black jeans and still wear them throughout when I, it's not a hundred degrees outside because I just love them. And I think they go with a lot of really good things. I don't think they're just for fall and winter. So this next outfit is a very trendy outfit, but I just had to put it together and I wanted to use a pair of black shorts. And these were the only black shorts that I could find right now. I know I have a linen pair, but I actually really loved these with this outfit. And it's a pair of faux leather shorts. I think they're really easy to wear right now. And I actually dressed them up a bit with a white blazer and added the pop of green underneath the blazer. And I love this apple green tube top. I think it's so fun. I got it from Walmart and it was like $18, I think. And I like layering it. I think it's really cute like this. And so think about what black and white pieces you can put together and then what pop of color you want to put with those pieces, whether you do it uh, like I've done here with the top underneath a jacket, or you could add the pop of color in your bag or your shoes. But I really loved this one. Although it's very trendy, I thought it was a lot of fun. And if you don't like wearing shorts, think about this outfit with either black jeans, which I thought would be a good replacement for the black shorts, or you could even wear the white jeans and swap out your blazer for a black blazer as opposed to a white blazer. And this blazer is a linen blazer, so it's great for spring and summer. So if you can find a blazer that is made out of a linen blend, that would be a great option for you. So I talk about this next style top all the time and it's the cardigan top. I'm just going to call it the cardigan top because I wear them as tops. And I liked this black and white one that I got from Loft and I think it looks really good with black jeans and sandals, but it also looks good with white jeans and sandals. So if you can find something that is a black stripe, whether it's a cardigan top like this or just a regular t-shirt or top, then pairing a black and white stripe with a black or white bottom and then black or white shoes, depending on how you want to mix and match those colors, I think it is a really good option and really fun. And stripes are very big right now. You will see a lot of stripes in store, so it shouldn't be hard for you to find a black and white stripe that you can add into some of your black and white outfits. So if you are like me and you have a black dress or a black jumpsuit and it's something that you can wear year round, um, I think a good way to make it look a little bit more spring and summerish is to put a white belt and some white shoes with it. And that's what I've done here with my jumpsuit. And this is actually a linen jumpsuit, so it's very good for spring and summer, but it came with a black belt that matched it. And so you can put raffia with this. I have put a raffia belt and a raffia bag and some tan shoes to dress it up, but 
if you wanted to add white to it, I think it just makes it pop even more and looks very good. And I chose my Golden Goose sneakers that are a little bit trendy here. So this is a little bit of a trendier look, but you could do whatever sneakers you wanted or white sandals that you wanted with this. And then if you wanted to do a thinner white belt, you could do that. If you didn't want to add the white belt at all, just the white sneakers or sandals would work. And then you could also add a white handbag and maybe some white earrings because you can find lots of different fun colored earrings as well. So I hope those gave you some really good ideas to put your black and white pieces together and create some classic or even some trendy outfits. And don't be afraid to add a pop of color in there with your black and white. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing. And I will talk to you next time.